Hello, hello. How are you, my friend? I'm good. I cannot see you. Yeah, let me work out. I couldn't use my computer. I'm using my cell phone. Okay. Mm, let me just... Here I am. Good to see you. Are you still in Hawaii? Yes, I am still in Hawaii. Um, Such a jet setter. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy here. So, are are you with your family on holidays? Is this still what's going on, or are you doing sacred ceremonies, or or just living the jet setter life, doing your magic all over the world? That's exactly right. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, what this is, is. What is this? This is my my co-creation space. Holy cow! Oh my god! Yes. What? What the heck? Are you <laughs> are, are you there alone? Who are you there with? Uh, I am here with my friend uh, Rick. He's the one that invited me here. Um, we are working on this collective intelligence uh, process to launch a magic canoe worldwide and run festivals around the planet in sacred sites to activate golden innovations. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so are, we you, were, are you, you going to have like all all day in the morning? We were we were paddling like in this river. We took some boards and we were doing some amazing work all over. I mean, just talking and yeah, we're putting together a a, um, a blueprint that can be replicated across the planet. And and we were here working with an elder. Uh, with a Hawaiian elder, which is like a cosmic being, uh, holding all of the knowledge, all the galactic uh, knowledge of the Hawaiians and the community building processes. And, and their governance, he was explaining us, his governance model is based on phi and pi, like 3.1416, 3 et cetera. So that's the mathematics they use to, to run their calendars. And so, yeah, we're having a really good time here. <laughs> well, That's crazy. I have much joy. You certainly deserve it. So I, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're in your your zone. That's beautiful. Yes, uh, we we are having really a very interesting blueprint to share. It's a little bit. I mean, the. The meme of uh, what needs to happen is out there. And what we are doing with the LCL team, the LCL group, it, it is on its way, yet not fully there. I mean, there are some points that are still, that I would do different, yet uh, I would not. This is still a prototyping exercise what we are doing. Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily would like to push and change drastically and completely the the ways of how things are happening now um but it is okay because i think in, in a way we are building another a different way of how to do it i myself would have done it different uh i mean they never asked us whether we wanted uh to turn all of this into an educational platform and to do what we are doing it was suddenly a decision and we were kind of invited to, do you want to do it? And yeah, why not? Let's try it. Yet, if if you will have asked me, is this the best way? Uh, I would say perhaps not. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's been a quite a learning process along the way. And I think each of us would have had maybe a different way of doing it if we had control of the reins. But, you know, I, I think, um, each of us at some point just had to say, well, this is the way it's going and let's just see what happens because, you know, it's quite, it's their deal kind of in a sense. And, uh, you know, I, I admire what they've done. 
in, in yeah, yeah i mean this is totally like admirable and, and full of recognition i mean i i bow and, and take my hat to, to acknowledge uh, the, the work they have done uh, and I think this is just helping and, and creating a, an imprint um, on the way, because this is not the only group trying to do this. If you go to the sign to network with uh, John Raymer and Unity Week, they're trying to do something kind of similar in a way. Hmm. Trying to well, see this place from my well and I think as an originator or each of us at some point has, you know, we want a way to do our work. And this is kind of like, someone else is taking our work and taking pieces of it and and they're going to do with it what they do with it and um for me it's just it stabilized me enough to sort of get my own work you know at the point of uh it changed the way i work so for me it's been very positive sounds perfect and this is the technology is going to follow yeah i mean, I mean it's I just created a, a new two-person game board to go with the card sets that I think is it's like I've been developing a Monopoly game without the game board where I have, you know, the 12 game board, eight game board, nine, but I didn't have a two person game board, which I think is really the starting point, you know, for, for getting people together. So uh, I'd like to send that to you uh, and see what you think. Because I think. Yes. So yeah, please. Um, I, I will be back in Mexico tomorrow. I'm flying tomorrow back to Mexico. So Friday onwards, I will be more available. Okay. Right now, actually, I, I would like to get a little bit of the the gist of what happened in the meeting with today. Uh, um, Jesse asked me to to send my insights to look at. His, she sent me the video, and she's asking me to to have a get to look into what happened and send my insights on what tools will be necessary. Have, have you watched the video yet? No, I haven't. I haven't been, haven't had a moment. It's been just like uh, I woke up and had a meeting, and then I I've been working all day with my friend Rick, with the I mean the hope my host here. Mm -hmm. He's like a, a retired um, visionary um, that got some some resources, and he he invited me here. He flew me here to California, and, and we've been working on uh, on this project and so we are we're nailing it it's coming together very nicely oh nice nice yeah in essence we're going to be because we know the work needs to be happening at the spiritual level as well so we're gonna we're creating the blueprint for a festival to happen in 12 sacred sites cities in a synchronic way and we're going to enable the wheel of co-creation uh, on it's going to be like a healing force field activation of the sacred sites um four fields a force field creation cre of, of the protecting the areas and activating the sacred sites and a co-creation a co-creation uh, festival fantastic like are you saying like 12 festivals in a row or 12 festivals at the same time at the same time. Oh, wow. wow. When, when's that going to take place? Uh, we're still working on the product and we are, we are going to have a meeting by the end of August. To, we will have a planning meeting. We're inviting 12 people to plan to be the heart of this. So we're inviting like three social architects, three philanthropists, uh, three spiritual leaders. Um, Three like producers, city like festival producers. So one from each of the sacred site areas, kind of thing, or just twelve in general. That, and this, at this, at, 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 it's like this time is like a multidisciplinary team. We are inviting the ones with the vision, the ones with the capacity to do it, the ones to hold the spirit, and the ones with the money. And we are going to prototype in. We're going to be prototyping it in three or four cities first. And then we want to do it in 12 cities simultaneously. Wow. Wow. That's a great And vision. then and from there, we're going to sprout them out 
and each city will grow to 12 other cities in bioregional basis. Once they have mapped the bioregion, they will find the, the cities that, will need to, that they will need to synergize with. Wow. in order to be able to cope with the bioregional problems, whether that is trash, water, environment, security, immigration, economy, is breaking the borders, political borders, moving back into bioregion, not thinking, as a path to planetary consciousness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you going to do it in Canada, or have you identified where yet, or...? Not yet. I mean, we haven't identified the 12 places yet. That's why that's where we want the, the spiritual leaders and visionaries that they know about the chakras of the planet. And they don't only know about the chakras of, of the planet out of a book uh, or an internet, but they can sense and know which chakras are crucial. Mm. For uh, for it to activate the energetic grid of the planet, and so they can see beyond dimensions, and I will trust we will trust the, their guidance to to know which are the the sacred sites in which we we need to do work. So that will determine whether we go to one city or place or another. Mm. I've, I've heard Banff. In Alberta, Canada is one of them. There's a mountain lake that uh, I've heard a number of times. They said that was a chakra. Um, could be, could be. So, I mean, there are many things, uh, many things at stake right now uh, and places that are under attack on, on this virus thing. Mm. Yeah, the brother of a friend, a dear, dear, dear friend, her brother just died after getting the vaccine. He had a heart attack. Oh. He was 51. Oh. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's, it's... So they say, oh, it was because he had a very bad, he had very bad habits. He was kind of like a, smoking a lot, never did exercise, so... I mean, it could have been just an attack, a heart attack because of that. But now that it happened that he took the vaccine like a few weeks ago or days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we need to do this very quickly. And there are many things at stake. And for a reason, we are in Hawaii. Hawaii is one of the places that needs protection. Um, so anyway, uh, let, let's go. I don't have much time today. Uh, because I still want to see the video. I have some a, a commitment um, shortly after. Um, but I would just like to learn about what happened in the meeting, just as a summary before I see the one and a half hours video, mm. which I don't think I, I won't have time to see it. Uh, but if you could kind of just like, if you, I mean, I would like to hear your impressions of, I understand they are asking us what is next. And how do we combine our, our methodologies to what is next? Well, I, I think the big thing is they they haven't, like the design for the collective intelligence and they have, it's sort of like three weeks in and then it's, it's sort of open. And then I think your magic canoe and my synergy wheel are sort of kind of like two of the main components where you're, you're looking at the this way and then I'm looking at it this way kind of like I'm looking at it from the functional team point of view and I, I sent you I think you saw I made a matrix of the uh, synergy wheel plus the topics which uh, is in your email I don't know have you seen that yet yeah I saw it I saw it so that's that's kind of uh, I think from a functional point of view and then your canoe is the you know, it sounds like this, the second part of your canoe is coming in with the collective intelligence. Um, I mean, I, from my own point of view, I mean, it just seems that, you know, this is going to be like a two year program, like, like we're just getting going, I think, really. And the, I think it's just open. It, it, it's open, like we have another meeting tomorrow. Um, yeah, but where, where did you get, I mean, because let me, let me just see again your map. I'm opening my emails. 
and I sent you a, another map. That I, made. I think because this is the time where they must be getting into the conversation of. When did you send it? Uh, to today, about eleven. No, okay. Let me see that. And then Olivier sent another map of, with your canoe and my uh, shared knowledge community model. It's very slow. Um, is that in the email? Did I receive that email? I don't know. And then Olivier followed up with a another email so it could be there should be two emails there for you okay i'm opening okay i see it Hmm. Okay, so we have the 12 sectors and we have the synergy wheel teams. I mean, the, these are functions what you have. I have the magic canoe roles to navigate a, a, a canoe. This might be overlapping and complementary to what you have here. I think so, because I think, I think the magic canoe is kind of like going through all of the teams from a point of view of, you know, the process side. And I think what, what I have is more the cross indexing of the functions. And so I, I think it's just another axis. You just have another axis. So I, I, think, I think basically our work just fits pieces which the other doesn't have. Okay, and our manual response. Thanks, Oliver, for this year an excellent lead into the collective intelligence. Why? Let me see. What What did he do to lead us into collective intelligence? I'm I'm not sure. I didn't quite get that. Um, maybe he's referring to the timeline, because Olivier sent. That there's your canoe. There's my shared knowledge community, and then there's the. I asked for the timeline of what's happening in sort of like module two and then what's what's happening for module three so he might be referring to that i'm not sure yes i think so i'm looking into the shared knowledge synergy team infrastructure mediators originators entrepreneurs coaches artists healers facilitators 12 twin 12 teams of 12 people timeline uh, i think i think we need a creative session uh, I, I mean i think those was today and, yeah, and tomorrow right yeah i mean you you are you are missed your presence has been missed essential element i know this travel this travels um, I mean, the meetings on Friday, I, I really missed it. Yes. How was it on Friday? It's, you know, it's, I find the, the Friday meetings are a bit strange because they're so like, the, the five of us are kind of like unique because we're not really part of LCL. You, you know, we're kind of from a design point of view on the Wednesdays. And then on Fridays, we're sort of going through the process, but we're not quite, you know, we're not like the other teams where we're starting out fresh and coming up with the new ideas and, and going through the process. You know, we, we've all participated in the design and then the Friday meetings kind of go through the process and kind of don't. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's like anything, right? I mean, 12 people in, uh, in 90 minutes, you know, it's, there's a limitation there in terms of what really you can get through, but people, you know, people really enjoy it. I think, you know, everyone, oh, we have just lost.
He's back. Uh, I lost you. I don't know what happened. You always seem to have connection problems. I don't know. The problem is that I am in the middle of nowhere. I'm, I've been on a mission. I'm either on the desert or in an, in an old hacienda in the middle of nowhere or I, I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> I've, been, I've been all over. <laughs> what type of a crazy karma I have. So in, in terms of assessment of today, um, I guess I'm drawing a bit of a blank. I mean, I, uh, I'm not sure how much progress we actually made. Um, I mean, I, I just, I, I use the time to make the map. So I kind of listen and map while we're doing it. Did you see the other map that I sent you, the one from before that was on the Enneagram? I think so. Let me just go back to that. It had, it had the, um, It had like the different pieces and parts, like the life purpose at one. It had the uh, symposium. It had the daily practice. It had the, the training program, conversational threads, and then the three different levels of personal growth, group coherence, and collective. Is the, is the synergy will framework, right? No, that's, that's one of them, but I sent one about from last week from last Friday's meeting, I made a map. We were sort of discussing what's the purpose of the team. And I had like individual avatar, group avatar, and community avatar. Did you, did you get, I, I'm pretty sure I sent that to you. Yeah, you sent me, I mean, that, that's where I, but that's the avatars for each person, right? Um, but I can, we are combining the, the avatars and the, which I, one? Do you, want me to, do you want me to send it again? No, I, I do have them. I just want to find out which one are you talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, it's Lysiel Foundation Synergy Wheel Framework. That's the map I made from the last Friday one. And it has the Enneagram. I don't think I have that. Will okay. you send that then? I'm just going to send it right now. Okay, just sent. See how long that takes. Yeah, I think these meetings are are really the in your neck of the woods in terms of your bringing your work in. Yes. Timing, timing is everything. Yeah, this is a good framework. That's, yeah, that's the one thing. And I just sent. Are you planning to go to the symposium in November? Yes. Right. So, okay, so which one do you want me to see first? Um, well, wait, wait. Are they the same? Are they saying, you sent me two. Is there any difference between one and the other? Well, I, I, the other one I, I sent was the, um, the synergy framework that has the, it's a matrix. It has the 
functions of the Synergy wheel on the side and the topics at the top. That's the one that I made today. And the one I just sent you was the one I made last Friday. Yeah, but you sent me two attachments. Is that a mistake or they are different? Oh, I cannot... one's, one's a PNG and one's a PDF. Okay, well, so it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like to send the visual just in case you want it as a picture and then you can print off the PDF on 11 by 17 if, if, you, if you want. You know, maybe what you could do is you could send, uh, when you take a look at it today, you could make a little video tonight and uh, you know, five or 10 minute video and you could send it and we could watch it together in the meeting tomorrow. That could yes, be, possibly. That could be a way of you sharing your insights. actually right now uh, i just need to go back to the user experience and i just want to understand how will i mean if i am a participant where where, where are participants now that, that's the field i want to i want us to get into uh, um did... participants participants who are i mean they are in their groups they went through the to they start breaking up in groups. They start they started playing the alchemist and the mirror process, and then they started like creating the finding their uh, learning about the different um, functions and lines of action for, on the synergy. The uh, CEO wheel, and everybody started kind of playing with their avatars, right? Yeah, I I don't think they've come in contact with the synergy wheel yet. Um, they, okay, so okay, so where are participants now? Then I, I think that. I think it's it's at a place of kind of looking at the avatar profiles and coming up with the main thing they're working on right now is coming up with the team profile of like who do they have and what are their strengths and weaknesses and I think that's the main thing that people are working on. Okay, because that's I mean that's still way too for me to um, essential at, at the level that's still too much into the essence of I got I went through a deep personal process now we are looking into the teams on on who is who what strengths we have like looking into each other's um, gene keys profiles yet they are still not talking about what are we doing together yeah. That's for me the first element to bring any glue into the into going from the feminine side of of oh yes we are loving each other we are so beautiful people but what are we doing where are we going at that very moment the canoe or the, the process could break because people might just want different things and and that, that was one of my the, the, those were one of the pieces of uh, that I was that I suggested that or it was a concern of mine to say do they get to choose where they in which group will they will they be or or you're just they were placed in a way also like following the spirit in, into which room into which place would they will be which is okay up to a certain level to trust that you will be in the right place and that happened to me I, I am a living experience to that but I think it's been too long since it's like what I am doing here. Uh, what are we doing together? What is the call to action? What do we want to achieve? How it is that my personal gifts will, will be put into action and into purpose because all of these getting to know myself and getting to know each other's strengths and weaknesses is part of, of is gonna help us at the moment we know what we want to do. Once we say this is what the purpose of the group this is the call to action this is what we want this is what what we are here to do 
This is when all of these schools will become handy. And to know that you are a good planner, to know that you are a good leader, to know that you are a good communicator, uh, that will help people self-locate. Uh, uh, there are different levels of self-locating. There are the levels of self-locating at the purpose. It's like, I want to be working on new currencies or, or in sacred sites, or do I want to be working on heal or, or love? It's like, is, is my, my deepest heart desire met with what the group is bound, the purpose, the central purpose of the group. So there is, a, I will say that we need to get into the level of defining the central purpose of, of the group, because that is what is going to take us into the journey of the magic canoe to set some directionality of, there is a call to action. What is the call to action of your group? Uh, and there we can start a conversation. We, we start the canoe process. Do you resonate with this? Do you see it the same way I do? Are we wanting to go into the same type of actions? Are our actions divergent of, of convergent? Uh, can we synergize? Can we get them? Can we learn to get along together? Like, and then it's like, are we having a shared understanding of the problem, a, a shared vision? Uh, and then we can attempt to move into action. And then is when all of the skill set that, that you have and, and the roles I have in the magic and in the ergonomic model, that's when they will become handy. O otherwise, for me to look into the maps, uh, to look right now into your maps without uh, a purpose or action, I, uh, I will say yes, but I'm totally lost. I'm not sure if I need them. If yeah. those, I mean, I'm sure those functions will be needed, but I, I don't know what to do with them if, if we don't put a purpose to it. I, th I think like last Friday, the main thing we were looking at as a team was what is our purpose? And that's, it was a bit strange because Lysiel sort of already has a very refined purpose already. So I, I don't have enough feedback to answer the question because I'm not, I'm not getting feedback from the teams. Um, in a sense of really where they're at, because I have, you know, to me, I gotta feel them, see them, touch them, kind well, of. Well, I, I think that's a valid question for tomorrow. Where are the teams now? What is the feedback that we are getting from them? Are they okay? Are they kind of like dying to go into action, or are they cool? Yeah, no, I, I, it's a very valid. Yet I, 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 I know that if we want to talk collective intelligence, there is no collective intelligence if there is not a central purpose, a call to, a call to action um, that will get, get us to the, one of the first steps, which is self-locating, is I am in the right canoe. And Dance and clear instructions to participants uh, how the tools of, of the magic canoe and ergonomics met with the ones you have. Otherwise, we're going to get them totally lost. I mean, and both models could work, but if we put them together without alignment, it's going to be a mess and people is going to be confused. I agree. So right, right now, uh, I, I will send my, I'll see if I can send a, a recording and some notes. But what I, I can see so far is that I can, I can uh, send you to, um, I, I will just stick to the, for people to go to the first step of the magic canoe, which is what is the call? and convening like why you're freezing up on me um and you were freezing up before so I, i'm not hearing why you. they are here you're you're freezing up on me one um it's the, the connection might be a little 
a little harsh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and the things like, I mean, let me, let me get closer to the, to here. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so I think it is about getting people into their purpose, the first step of the canoe. Um, and I believe if that's where they are, um, then I will just guide them through the process to the first levels of the magic canoe for them to have a shared understanding of what they want to do. And then um, a deep understanding, a shared vision and a shared understanding of what they want to do. To get there, um, they will not need operational tools, but they might need facilitation tools. And, and that's where I will focus. I, I think we should cut the call short because I, I'm not hearing you anymore, Juan. And I, I think that, um, I think you should- Are you hearing me here? I just, you're coming in and out, but I'm not really hearing you for the last almost 10 minutes. So maybe, oh, we, should, that, that, maybe we should cut the call yeah. short, but you know, yeah. I, would, I would suggest everything I have heard, I think you're spot on. So I would suggest that you make a little video about that maybe sort of go through the video just a little bit, fast forward, just kind of look at what we're doing. But uh, I think you're, you're, you're right. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm, let me see if I have a chance to make a video. I might be more clear and efficient to just to write you a message with like five clear points. Uh, and that will be easier for people to understand. I'll do that. Uh, but well, it was good that we spoke today. So you can, in a way, like kind of like share a little bit of this conversation with, with everybody. Okay, I great to hear from you. And I'm, I'm really glad that you're uh, stepping into the larger vision and uh, much love and we'll see you soon. Yes, we'll see you soon. Okay, my brother. Take care, my brother, take care. All right. Okay, bye.